Indiana health officials say its Be Well Crisis Helpline has answered more than 6,000 calls since the service launched in July. The free service started to support Hoosiers' mental health during the pandemic. It's a part of a larger Be Well Indiana initiative. Desharian McBroom has an update on how the state is hoping to help those struggling. Desharian. Quarantine, job losses, and the uncertainty of the pandemic has taken its toll on many people's mental health. Indiana officials want to give those struggling a place to turn to. According to Rethink Mental Health Incorporated, approximately one in five adults in the United States experience mental illness in a given year, and nearly 40% don't seek treatment. The Indiana state government wants Hoosiers to know there is help available. In April, Indiana launched BeWellIndiana.org, an online clearinghouse for mental health services. One of the features of this site is a self-assessment. 57% had not been previously diagnosed with a mental health condition and were not receiving any treatment at the time of their self-assessment. But for more than three quarters of those taking the self-assessments, there was confirmation of a mental health diagnosis. Be Well Indiana has a variety of resources related to mental health and wellness, substance abuse and recovery, and support for those struggling during the pandemic. Disruption to our daily lives continues with recurrent needs for quarantine and isolation, changes to school and work schedules, unexpected illness of friends and family, and disruption to our social supports. These will be ongoing until our collective actions and the vaccine help us get things under control. And with the start of a new year and COVID-19 vaccinations rolling out, Indiana State Health Commissioner Dr. Christina Box is offering Hoosiers a message of hope. I know many Hoosiers are going into 2021 without the hope or excitement that we often associate with our new year. There's no doubt that we can carry many of the burdens of 2020 into the next year. I want to remind you all that there is hope and we are excited to see the things changing. Dr. Jennifer Sullivan, Secretary for Indiana Family and Social Services, says 25,000 assessments have been completed since April of 2020, with over half of those being from people under the age of 25.